This is the Harris SX5 transmitter. We recently got and it's being driven with an SS Tran into the oscillator. This is a temporary installation at this time. So we had to come up with a way to change it over to our frequency. So we had and used an SS Tran AMT3000 which we decided to use to set it the frequency that we're on and then to connect it to the Harris SX5 and bypass the Harris SX5 internal oscillator. It's a nice little oscillator. It served as a very stable oscillator. So we use these to jump into transmitters from now to time to time, get them on the air. Taking that red wire right there, it's coming off of that pin, pin 4, and that's got the TTL output at the frequency, and it's going through that twisted lead. So it comes down these twisted leads, goes to P6, where the clip lead is, and what we're doing is jacking in the S-Tran here. Transmitter is making 1 kilowatt. That's all we need. We're going to put a programmable oscillator in this in in this section. But for now, AMT 3000 till we get another oscillator. Here's the new oscillator. There's the old crystal and the old crystal oscillator. If we ever get another crystal that we can put in this, we may use this instead of. Um, that board, but you know, for the price, these only cost like maybe four bucks to order them, and it's already can be fitted in the circuit because it's logic level five volts. So it's in there real nice. Here's the oscillator chip with, on the board, oscillator board, and there's the red wire is plus five volts, and that goes down to C7 right there. And we can pick off five volts right off that plus side of the capacitor. Tack a wire on that. And the RF out and the ground, uh, that goes down to E2. On jumper E2. This is the P6 jumper. It usually goes from the middle position to position 3 when using the crystal oscillator. In this case, I've just got the crystal in the socket halfway. We're not using it. Therefore, I've taken out the jumper and just placed it in the middle so it's not connecting, connecting to either side. So we got just the oscillator running and it goes directly into this chip here by means of this jumper. It's always a diagram of first the S-Tran and the chip here is U7 and it's a 4046A phase lock loop oscillator. Pin 4 here, and point 0.1 capacitor shielded cable there and I brought it into E. Well, down here is the input put in an external exciter like a CQAM that's what it originally had in it only I wanted this to be a high impedance into the Q2 that feeds the rest of the transmitter and P6 uh, the jumper is removed it's in this one so out of the SS tran from pin 4 feeds this uh, works quite well going to E2 where the jumper is Here's the cable coming down. That's an E2 jumper that goes across it. And I just soldered this shielded cable one side to there, and the ground goes there. So, well, there's the 5 volts. That goes over to capacitor C7, and I, that's the 5 volt supply, and I just tack that red wire onto the plus right there, and it goes up to the oscillator board there. Here's the actual chip number I used from Dove Electronics. And there's the wiring layout. And again, here's the schematic for that, being the oscillator, chip oscillator we got. And before, uh, this was hooked up like that. It connected that way. Now I just simply remove this and put in the oscillator. Again, attaching it to E2. Jumper plug removed. So it disconnects the Harris oscillator. And that's not being used at this point. It feeds right into these U2 and the Harris SX5. So it's uh, the Harris... The 6.5 is happy on 1200 watts, doing good.